My special day is back again this Christmas, and today we bring you the incredible story of 12-year-old Alicia Armstrong. When a niggling cold wouldn't go away in February 2012, Alicia and her family were rocked with some devastating news. She had leukaemia. But inspired by her Olympic hero, Jessica Ennis-Hill, Alicia simply wasn't going to be beaten. As the rain keeps pouring down on me And the sky is the only thing I see uh, And my troubles are gone with the wind It's just me and the ground beneath my feet I feel so alive A keen athlete from an early age Alicia Armstrong has always had a passion for sport. From the age of eight, she competed in triathlons, a sport requiring a huge amount of strength and determination. She had to draw upon those battling qualities and more to overcome her biggest challenge. And at the start of 2012, lingering cold turned out to be a lot more serious. I was a little bit run down, I had a bit of a cold. I was a bit tired, I had a bloodshot eye. I had just asked the doctor would he do a blood test just for my own peace of mind. They don't routinely do blood tests when you take children to your GP. Just a couple of hours later that night, the RVI in Newcastle ran and said that they needed to see Alicia straight away. They kind of said that your bone marrow isn't working properly. One of the consultants took me off to speak to me privately um, and she said sort of immediately, we think your daughter has leukaemia. The cancer is something that happens to other people until that second and then it, and then everything changes. Your life just turns upside down just hearing those, those words really. Alicia needed treatment immediately. Because I went straight into chemotherapy, I didn't really have the time to really think about it. You've got to make it ill to get better. Alicia had to undergo a bone marrow transplant, but she had to be in remission for this to be possible. After weeks of gruelling chemotherapy, she suffered a relapse and her transplant was postponed. At that point, there were moments when I never thought that I'd even get her into the transplant. She was so poorly. Did you come close to losing her then? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I never let that that creep into my mind really but there was times towards when she relapsed that I did think that she was never going to make it. Alicia did have her transplant and she did make it. Through the summer of 2012 she built her strength back up, albeit gradually, and there was one thing which motivated her more than anything else. The Olympics were on at that time so we had quite good TV. <laughs> did you have a favourite athlete at the Olympics? Jessica Ennis. Yeah, definitely. Why Jess? And it just like, it sort of amazes you how she can do seven disciplines and like, be good at them all. Going into the, into the hospital every day, she would have a poster of Jess Ellis was on, on, the, on the wall. She's a fantastic role model for girls. Inspired by Jessica's heroics, Alicia was declared in remission in 2013. Remarkably, that summer, she was back on the track, completing a triathlon. To see her back competing, doing the sports that she loves is uh, not closer, but it's that it's, it's always an, another step towards uh, getting back to normal. I feel so alive. Alicia receives her surprise one morning at school. As the pupils make their way to the hall for their morning assembly, the Sky Sports News cameras are present, but Alicia doesn't realise they are there to film her. It all seems to be a day just like any other, that is, until the headmaster, Mr Hodgson, hands over to Alicia's PE teacher, Mr Secker. There's also a really important reason why we're in the hall today, and we're just going to watch a quick video to find out what it's about. probably guess this is a very special assembly this morning. My name is Hayley McQueen and I'm here at Sky Studios in London where I've just finished presenting a show called Sports Dinner on Sky Sports News and I've got a very special message for a very special sportsman amongst you there at St Joseph's School. Alicia Armstrong, this message is for you. That's right, you have been nominated 
by your mum for a programme called My Special Day on Sky Sports. And have a little look behind you now. You can see your mum is right over there at the back of the room. <laughs> With the help of one very famous sportswoman, we have organised a surprise for you. Take a look at this. Hi Alicia, I know you can feel very well, but I hear you're doing really well now, and your story really inspires me. So I'd love to invite you up to Sheffield to the English Institute of Sport this Friday to come and do a training session with me. I'm really looking forward to meeting you. Later that week, Alicia and Jessica meet in Sheffield. Alicia, nice to meet you. Oh, thank you very much, they're gorgeous. Nice to meet you. Well, thank you for the flowers. I've also got you a little gift as well. Oh, thank you. And uh, some bits and jumpers and my book. Oh, you might like to read that. Oh, wow, thank That's you so much. That's all right, it's my pleasure. I hope that it'll all fit you well. So should we go and start then? Yes. Perfect. Alicia is then put through her paces in a very special athletic lesson. Over like that. Step down. Yeah, that's perfect. That's it. All right, so like this. Try it again. One, two. Yeah. So you just kind of run up to them. Once the warm-ups are done, Jess takes it up a level. That's it. And Alicia more than keeps up. That's brilliant. Go! <laughs> Try and look straight forward, try not to look down, because if your head tilts down, that'll bring your body yeah. down. So kind of look forward. Crouch down and explode. <laughs> to put her achievements into perspective, Jessica shows Alicia her high jump personal best. I don't know how I jumped that, to be honest. And Jess was only too happy to show Alicia her most prized yeah. possession. It's so heavy. I'm like, <laughs> Can you yeah, a little bit. Do you want to try it on? Here, I'll put it on for you. There you go. Wow. That's really heavy. Yeah. Thank you for coming to do a bit of a training Thank session with me. It. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. Good. And how are you finding it since your illness and having a bit of time away? It's harder. Yeah. But I can feel I'm gradually getting better. Yeah, because it won't come back straight away. It'll take yeah. you a bit of time just to build up and get stronger and faster. And yeah. but everything you've done, you know, from when was it kind of like May, June, June time? Yeah. You've, it's incredible. I have to come and watch you. I don't know how you can do a triathlon. That's really impressive. I could never do it. People always say, would you do a marathon or a triathlon when you retire? I think, oh, it's too far. It looks too hard. <laughs> <laughs> so I do admire what you do, it's amazing. Thank you so it's been much. It's so nice to meet you. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. Oh, it's so nice to meet you and I hope that all your recovery goes really well. Alicia remains in good health and now has her own sporting dream to take part in the British Transplant Games in 2014. For more unseen footage from Alicia's day with Jessica, you can visit our website at skysports.com forward slash my special day.